I'm cooking for you a rotisserie chicken. I'm cooking on a Swiss grill today. This is called a Swiss grill 500 TS. Four main burners and a side burner. And uh, best of all, it's, a, it's an infrared back burner. This is what we're going to be using today. At the moment, I'm just boiling some, uh, some parsnips and carrots, as you can see, just for 10 minutes, just to soften it up. It's going to help things uh, in the long run. Right then, we're going to prepare the drip tray, first of all. Okay. I'm using uh, just some large drip pans from, uh, from Weber. Need one of those. A little bit of garlic. Just chop it roughly. And there's the dogs in the background. All right. Some coarsely cut onion. Any, any old way you want to do it. What I do. This is going to add all, all to the, a lot to the, to the taste, the flavour, mixing with all the the chicken juice that's going to be dripping onto this. And the main ingredient. Again, have a sneaky taste. Absolutely lovely. We're going to do just throw that in there. Don't need to do that, but even add some oil into that. Right. Now that's done. While we just went for the carrots and the parsnips, we can prepare the chicken. Okay, just a medium sized chicken. Again, I like to use olive oil, and this makes all the seasoning just stick to it. You can make your own seasoning. Today, I'm using Broil King's chicken seasoning. This is fantastic, this is similar to what I always use. Salt, sugar, paprika, onion powder, some garlic powder in there. And I love chicken, chicken, chicken uh, skin. So hence the reason that's why I use it. Nice and nice and crispy. Grab it all in there. Give it a bright old orange skin. There you go. Alright, that's that on. Alright, now, what we've got to do now is put it actually on the rotisserie that we're going to be using. Hit the barbecue while you're there. Alright, this is just a bit fiddly, first of all. Try and get the chicken right through, centralise it, and then just stab the fork on, put the other fork on, have to put the both forks on there, just tie it in there, lock it in there, and then that is ready. Right, it's been simmering for about 10 minutes now, so I'm going to take off the heat, get the, the chicken on. Now, it's a safety feature on this, uh, on this barbecue, you can't use a side burner when you've got the rotisserie on, obviously because there's a handle here, it'll quite catch fire. Right, what I've done, I've taken a couple of flavourizer plates out and the grills, and this is going to give me the space that I need uh, for the juice of the chicken to fall down and mix in with all the, the beer we have here. So put them on there. I'm not going to use these main burners. It's just going to be the back burner I'm using. Is that the whole can in there? Yeah. Here we are. Now the first things first. You can put the rotisserie on and just watch the the chicken. See if it's off balance. The chicken's all balanced now. So all it is is just a case of lighting. The first time, lighting the back burner. There's no high or low because it's infrared, so it's just one setting. Turn it on, close the hood, and we just come back in in half an hour. Just make sure that the temperature's about 170 still. It's a great ideal uh, cooking temperature, and we take it from there. I forgot to uh, put the carrots and parsnips on, so I'm just going to quickly just pour these into the mixture we've got. Then what's going to happen, 
I've just turned the, the motor off at the moment. It's a bit of a noisy one I've, I've chosen. Uh, and then basically as, as the chickens turn around, the hood down as well, the heat from the back burner, let me put this down. The heat from the back burner is searing all the juices in, so it's self-basting. And then all the bits of juice that do fall off is going to mix it all in with the, the carrots, onions, the beer. The beer's going to vaporise as well and all the juices are going to go up into the chicken. It's going to be fantastic. See you again soon. Uh, well, we've been cooking for about an hour and a half now. So what we're going to do, just turn it off now. I'll stop the motor. You can see, let's bring it back on. See the infrared, uh, the back burner there? Especially at night time, that looks fantastic. And the heat it gives off, gives us probably as much heat as, as all these patio heaters. Anyway, okay, so this is done. All I'm gonna do is just take it off now. This is quite heavy. How do I book dogs? Come. Here we go. Look at that. What I'll do is the back. Let's take the fork out on that side as well. And I'll just uh, slice just a little bit of. Uh, a dear friend of mine asked me where, where we can get these knives from. This is a, this is a Weber knife, um, and you can buy it from our shop at www.thebbqshop.es. Keep it nice and sharp all the time. The cats are around now. <laughs> look, look at this. The animals, the dogs, up here behind you as well. They can smell the chicken, it's that good. And I'll tell you what, the smell. The smell is fantastic as well. Yeah. Right, so what we're going to do, just cut right, right through the centre of the breast there. Getting a close up here, look at that. That is so juicy. <laughs> that cat, the cat loves it. Right, and uh, as always, the chef is going to have a secret taste. Mm. Man alive, that's good. Oh yeah, today I'm cooking on... Sorry, no, 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 start again. Oh, uh, today... Oh, <laughs> uh, turn it off. Oh, <laughs> uh, today we're going to do a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> start again. You make... Put <laughs> the other fork on. Just have a bit slower, shall I? <laughs> Start again. Okay. Now, this is ready. Uh... Oh, what the fuck? You let the heat out, the gas out, and then nothing. <laughs> Start again. Oh, right. No, I just got all the chicken all balanced up now. Now I've just got to put the, the back burner on. Let the gas out. Here we have it. Third time lucky. I'm gonna put on high for five minutes and then uh, we, we turn it down as low as possible. Is it infrared? It's the same bloody heat, so it doesn't matter. I think we've been cooking for about 20 minutes? Don't know. Oh, we've been cooking for now about, I don't know, 20 minutes. <laughs> no, how long have we been cooking for? I don't know. Sorry again. Oh, yeah. Right, we've been cooking for about, I still don't know how many minutes. <laughs> Should we turn the music off first? <laughs>